Kitsar! Hey, what's going on YouTube fam? This is your boy Kitsar. And today we are gonna do an unboxing of a new product I just got. Shout out to the boys at Alto Music. You can check them out at altomusic.com. Uh, but without further ado, today we're going to unbox the Apollo Twin X Duo. So this right here is the Twin X Duo. This is my baby now. Um, this is a relatively new product. Uh, this is about maybe a month old right now. Um, so just to give you a little breakdown of it, uh, they call it the Twin because there's two preamps, uh, two ends for the microphones. As you can see, they provide this pretty cool chart on the back that tells you about the in and out capabilities. It's a 10 in, 6 out box. You can cascade up to four Apollo devices using Thunderbolt, or you can do a, a total of six UAD devices, which is pretty cool. So that means you can run a lot through this one little interface. Um, it comes with the, uh, the Pro Classics bundle, as you can see, Analog Pro Classics. Uh, comes with a, you know, the Poltec, LA-2A, 1176, you know, a bunch of stuff, as well as Auto-Tune Access, which is a pretty dope feature. So that's another good reason to cop this. That's a value of about uh, 1098 MSRP. So, uh, you know, it's your choice. Um, I was really big into analog. Uh, I had a Tone Beast TV12. Um, I was using that with my uh, Audient ID22. And, you know, it was working out for me. Of course, I love, you know, real hardware and I love analog. But at the same time, you know, I travel a lot. So I can't bring that everywhere. I can't travel with a 19 inch rack unit in my bag all the time. So this right here kind of eliminates the need to have all that. Now that's not to say that I didn't find good use out of the ID22 and the TB12. Those are great products on their own, you know, from Audient and Warm Audio. But for someone like me who really travels a lot and needs to be really mobile, having something like this is gonna allow me to, you know, go everywhere that I need to without having too much on me. This, my laptop, my mic, a couple of other items, and that's it and I'm good to go. So, uh, let's open this thing up. Man, that is real satisfying. Put that to the side. Uh, as you can see, it's still the same size as the MK2. Um, it's the same technology pretty much as far as the uh, the dual core processors go. Um, it's got two of those, that's why it's called Duo. Um, the quad would have four, but I think for me, pretty much I just need a couple of mic inputs and just to put a little effects on it, you know, just so I can track and print to uh, the DAW with what I need. That's pretty much good for me. So as you can see, they gave it the uh, gray face finish. So it looks beautiful, honestly. I'm really kind of, you know, pleasantly surprised by the look of this thing. Uh, it's not very large. Uh, but I know that doesn't really mean much as far as the capabilities go. Um, it, it's, it's beautiful, honestly. Uh, so like I said, it does have the, uh, the dual core processors. Um, what really changed between the MK2 and the X are uh, the preamps and the, uh, the output. So basically the conversion rate, the AD and DA. Um, it improved a lot because, you know, it was pretty good before. You know, the unison preamps are top notch, of course, but as far as the output, you know, some people were saying that other, you know, even like the ID22, it gave me really good sound in the monitors and the headphones. And I feel like the Apollo is gonna pretty much do the same thing now, if not better, because that's really the point of the upgrade. So beyond that, I'm gonna, you know, take all this off and we're gonna turn it on and then we'll start tracking uh, and, you know, we'll get right to work. So this is pretty much what comes in the box. Uh, you got the power cord, uh, instead of the wall board that takes up, you know, both of your outlets, uh, it comes with the adapter, you know, the lump essentially. So, you know, we're gonna put this together, uh, power this thing up, uh, take all this plastic off. One thing that UA doesn't provide with the Apollo are the, uh, it's a Thunderbolt cable. And since I'm using a mid 2014 MacBook Pro, I'm gonna need the Thunderbolt 2 to 3 adapter and the Thunderbolt 2 cable. Um, it is backwards compatible, which is good. So it doesn't lock you out of, you know, having to use a new Mac, um, which is a great thing. And Thunderbolt is good because the benefits of using that over USB is the higher gigabit rate. Thunderbolt 2 uh, performs at 20 gigabits per second of data transfer, whereas USB uh, 3.0 is gonna do 10 gigabits. Uh, Thunderbolt 3 is actually gonna do 40. So I'm gonna lose a bit of the, you know, the benefit of using three by having to use, you know, an older Mac and two with the adapter, but that's okay because at the end of the day, it's gonna be a better data transfer than my USB. So, um, you know, this was an extra 
what, $80? And I went to get Apple products because I don't want to use anything less for this device. I want everything to work in sync. I want it to run smoothly. So I would recommend you do that. Um, and once again, shout out to uh, the good folks at Alto Music. Shout out to Anthony for uh, basically just, you know, putting me on to everything. And uh, shout out to Billy for helping me out because I traded in uh, that TV 12 to get this. And, um, you know, they, they hooked it up, man. So uh, all I can say is appreciate y'all. All right. Y'all hooked up with the Thunderbolt. Let's turn this thing on. All right, so let's uh, get this thing registered and uh, get all my Analog Pro Classic plugins. Uh, everything is hooked up. I guess we'll just click next. Download from Mac. Two gigs, okay. So now that we powered up the unit um, and I downloaded the software that I needed to get all the UA, everything on here, you know, and upload it. Um, I went through the motions of that. It was pretty simple. It was just a simple package install. You, you run that down, um, you restart one time, uh, and it gives you, you know, all of the, the plugins that come with whatever product you got, whether it's this, you know, the X6, uh, the new X4, you know, whatever you got. And, um, Outside of that, it's pretty simple. You can see my Duo was right here in my hardware. Uh, I named it Couture's Duo, because of course. And uh, you know, you can view the plugins for the entire system. Uh, you know, this is a pretty comprehensive uh, little account page right here. But um, yeah, other than that, it was maybe like a 10 minute setup and I'm done now. Uh, so let's take a look at the Apollo real quick on the face. Um, basically what you can see is that the controls are really easy to use. Um, right now I have it set to uh, alter the settings on the mic. So let's uh, do a little switch and play with some buttons. Um, I can switch between what channel of mic I'm using. I can switch between mic and line input. If I wanna back away from changing the preamp settings, I can go to the monitor and change the headphone setting right here. That's where the headphone jack is. I can switch it to go to the monitor and as you can see, it's already set up a little bit. I don't have anything connected, but if I did, it would be, um, you know, about a third of the volume playing out. And if you want to go to headphone again, you set that again. Go back to the preamp. I'm on mic. Set my preamp level. It's really simple. It's really intuitive. Um, some people are not a fan of the one knob. I don't find it to be too difficult. I mean, this is, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Like you can't really go wrong. Um, so once I'm on this mic input now, uh, I can change uh, the high pass roll off, basically uh, 80 hertz and below, just knocks it out, gets all that you know room noise out. I can turn on my phantom power, as you can see it's flashing. Um, I can use a pad if I want to or not, a 20 dB pad. Uh, I can do phase cancellation. And uh, there's the uh, link button to use two channels simultaneously. And there's a mute. So when I'm in headphone or monitor settings, I can use these bottom functions. Uh, I can use the talk back. So I can talk to the artist or whomever is uh, recording or playing um, using this little mic right here. I can uh, dim the sound. I can set it to mono out of stereo or bring it let me say that again. I can bring it to mono or put it back in stereo for mixing and mastering purposes. I can mute the music entirely. And then when I want to get out of that, just go back to preamp. And that's it. Really intuitive, really simple. This is, you know, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. So, uh, you know, we did some basic exploration of, you know, the Apollo and kind of what it brings to the table. Um, we haven't even gotten in depth at all. I haven't even mixed a project yet, um, but we're gonna get to that in just one second. And uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what's, uh, what's gonna happen with this thing right here. I'm pretty excited. So basically I've got the console app set up right now. Um, as you can see, uh, it's, it's really simple. It's a really cool overview. Um, 
in this screen, you can see everything from the, you know, the inserts to some of the virtual tracks, the auxes, the talkback track, uh, you know, the monitor, you know, there's, there's, there's a whole lot of things going on here. But basically for me and time to get recorded and working, uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, sending out some inserts. So I've already got the Avalon uh, 737 for my preamp. I made a little uh, little time preset. So, uh, you know, I got the highs boosted a little bit, a little bit of maze, a little bass. Um, and, you know, Avalon is, is pretty standard. You know, you, you really need that. Um, if you're doing hip hop, especially, it's a, you know, industry standard. Um, we got Auto-Tune Access, which came with uh, my Apollo Twin Duo, uh, Twin X Duo, mind you, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have it set to F minor, the key of the song. Um, I have retune on fast, humanize on off, so we can really get that auto-tune effect that everyone loves. Um, I've got an LA-2A, just kind of giving more character and a little more, you know, some of that warmth, um, because obviously the Avalon already has a compressor, but I just kind of want that teletronic sound. And then I've got a Poltec EQ, um, basically just kind of smoothing out things. Uh, I have a little boost around the... Uh, you know, the highs, I think it's from, you know, like eight and above. I have some attenuation on 10K. I boosted about a hundred a little bit, just to give it a little more, you know, kind of something in the in the, the lower register. And uh, I have two inserts set up. I have aux one uh, with uh, the real verb, which also came with the Apollo. Um, and that's a, a pretty, pretty dope reverb. And then I have uh, the, and then I have the uh, precision mix uh, delay going on right here. And basically that's uh, just gonna give me a little bit of delay. I didn't really time it too well um, because uh, you know I didn't really wanna figure out the middle seconds right now, but uh, it's it sounds good. It's basically like a quarter note. Um, I have the uh, phantom power enabled and the pad. I have the uh, phantom power enabled and the uh, roll off going on just to get some of that room noise out and the uh, Phantom Power for the condenser mic I have here, which is an S25 for microphone parts. Shout out those guys. Uh, you're doing something really special with this mic. And uh, this is just the basic entry level. Uh, we're gonna get the T12 soon, you know, try to upgrade uh, everything in one shot. So as you can see from uh, the console layout, uh, the mic is hitting uh, time. Give me a couple of words, please. No time, no time, no time. No time. Coming in a little hot. So we're gonna turn that preamp down a little bit just to get them hitting that the right uh, gain. Uh, we have these aux sends going on. I have the reverb up pretty pretty high. Got the delay up pretty high. Um, and then you can see the uh, the aux sends can be controlled over here. That's why I can you know put the inserts in. Um, right now I have the tracks. Uh, Right now, I have the one uh, mic track that we have the insert recording to Logic. So I'm printing all the effects that we have in the inserts on the track into Logic. And the way to do that is I can choose from the right side, insert effects, UAD record. That's gonna record all of the tracks when I do that. If I just switch it to monitoring, I'm gonna monitor with the effects, but I'm not going to actually put them into Logic. It's just gonna allow me to get a nice monitor mix for the artist and then maybe I'll, you know, mix in Logic. But since I'm pretty confident in what I have, I'm gonna commit to this and print it to the track. So I'm gonna set it to record. And if you wanna do that individually, you would just go right here to the little red dot on the tracks, click one time, it'll become blue for monitor, put it back on red for record. It's pretty simple, it's really intuitive. And, you know, this is another, great uh, mixing platform that allows me to eliminate, you know, 80% of the mixing work that I have. Uh, before, when I was, you know, really mixing and using all my plugins through Logic, I could just, you know, it, it would kind of bog me down a little bit, but it was a workflow I was used to. But having this right in front of me, all I gotta do is throw some verbs and lay on it, and, you know, the track is, is good to send out as a rough like right away, as opposed to really having to do a little more to it. So when you're recording in Logic, uh, one of the ways to set this up is you don't need low latency because the Apollo is taking care of all of the uh, software monitoring. 
So what you're gonna do is go to Preferences, Audio, go to General, turn off your software and input monitoring. Now you could keep input on, but you know, software is really the one you want to turn off or else you're gonna get playback from Logic and it's probably gonna phase. And if your buffer size is too high, if we go back to devices, uh, let's say it was at, you know, 1024, you would hear not only phasing, but you hear a slight delay because Logic's gonna hit later because the buffer's higher than this, which has damn near, you know, zero latency, like maybe one millisecond. So you're gonna run everything through the Thunderbolt, your output and your input device. If you wanna set your project to a different sample rate, then you go to File, Project Settings, Audio, I'm already here, and you change your sample rate accordingly. You know, if you want to get out of 41, maybe go to 48. This thing can go all the way up to 96 kilohertz, which is great. You know, if you really need it, then you go ahead. If you're doing, you know, some Foley stuff or whatnot. And, you know, you can always, obviously, you have to bounce back down to 44.1. But, uh, you know, there's a lot that you can really do with this platform that uh, it's, it's really intuitive. And, you know, this is, you know, it's pretty dope stuff. So, uh... Basically now we're ready. I'm gonna uncheck that eye because we don't need input monitoring. Uh, this track is already armed, but I wanna start on this one right here. So I'm gonna arm that one. As you can see, we have the channel in mono. Uh, and here's another helpful tip. If you want to make sure that these labels accord with Apollo's labels, you go to mix, go to IO labels, click on provided by driver, Highlight the first one, go to the last input, highlight them all, and they'll all change so that you're using the labels that are given in Apollo, so you're not guessing what, what input one is, what input two is, and so on and so forth. That's really helpful. So right now you can see I'm on that first mic channel. And right now I have a de-esser, my fab filter. I have a uh, Neve by Arturia. Um, just because I haven't gotten the, uh, the, uh, UAD Neve yet, you know, I may, I may not get it, but we'll see. Uh, I have the CLA vocals by Wave, uh, just doing some stereo work and, uh, you know, a couple of things with the compression and a little bite, so on and so forth. And on this track specifically, I have the sound shifter by Waves, uh, changing the, uh, pitch of one of these tracks, uh, because we want to do a certain effect for the end of the song. So I already recorded some, uh, some stuff going on with time. As well, I also have uh, some reverb on a, on a bus at Fab, Fab Fil As well, I also have some reverb on a bus. I have Fab Filter's uh, Pro R reverb. And uh, you know, it's just giving me some of that nice sound, cut out some of the low. You know, it's just that, you know, that good sound that you need for any song, a little reverb, a little space. And then on bus three, I have some delay. I have the H delay by Waves, just giving me some quarter note ping pong. And, you know, I got the low pass around about 4.4K, uh, the high pass around like 330, just to, you know, kind of enclose where I want that delay to be. And, uh, you know, I got this, reverb pretty high on this one track um but otherwise you know i'm going to keep it pretty moderate for the rest of them so now let's play some of this song and uh you can hear exactly what's going on and really some of the quality uh in this you know in this apollo right here Mana be cold freezing, 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 I sleep in the ignore freezing, I don't want the bitch to be teasing, la 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 la, I'm leaving, I go to the source, not the middle man, I don't want the bitch, she not a 10, if she not a 10, then I fuck a friend, then I'm on to the next, then no time for them, no time for them, no time for them. No time for them. No time. No time for them. No time. No time for them. I'm on to the next. Got no time for them. 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 Mana be cold with freezing. Mana be cold with freezing. Mana be cold with freezing. Yeah. Mana be cold with freezing. Mana be cold with freezing. Mana be cold with freezing. 
so now we're going to show you some of the recording capabilities and you know pretty much what this thing is going to sound like uh, once you get a couple of effects going so uh let's unmute this track right here hear that yeah yes sir all right let's get it so uh we're gonna set a little time off right here at the end of the track and go over this little reverse part and uh let's see what we come up with when it be cold and freezing i sleep in the igloo and freezing i don't want the bitch to be teasing la 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 i'm leaving I don't really got no time for no friends I don't pretend this shit is not immense When I touch down, feel like Brady in the fence So if I play this track back, you can hear it's, it's clear as hell I don't really got no time for no friends I don't pretend this shit is not immense When I touch down, feel like Brady in the bends. I have the auto-tune and basically this whole channel strip printed into Logic. So my only real work was putting this deesser on to tame some of the siblings, uh, putting the 1073 on to you know give it some of that bite, putting the CLA on to give it some width and to give it a little more push. Uh, this vocal is gonna get the sound shifter to do some you know some crazy shit to it. Uh, the second bus. Well, the first bus technically is for the verb, and the second one is for the delay. And once I play it out, I don't really got no time for no friends. I don't pretend the shit is not immense. When I touch down, feel like Brady in the bends. And it's that easy. And you have it. That's it, you know? There's not much more that you have to say. Once you get it up and running, you know, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Thank you guys once again for tuning in to this Apollo Twin X unboxing. Uh, my name is Couture, my boy Lil' Time. Time. We got my boy DJ Macrohard on the cam, appreciate you, you already know. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second day of the new year. Uh, God bless y'all for 2020, man, we're gonna get it started right. We got all this equipment and we really gonna get it in. So there's gonna be a lot more content coming. Make sure to follow my YouTube page, subscribe, check out my Instagram, Twitter, Check out his Instagram and Twitter. Everything's going to be listed. DJ Mac for hard. I'm going to have all those links for you. And there's going to be a lot more coming soon. So just stay tuned. Peace. Might it be God freezing? 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 Might it be cold 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 freezing? I sleep in the igloo freezing. Guitar.